What's up everyone, welcome back. In the last video I took off majority of the stuff from the front, um, including fenders, bumpers, lights, grills and the hood. And in this video I'm going to get to the engine bay. I'm going to begin by removing all the small stuff from the top of the engine, just like the hoses, reservoirs and electrical stuff. And once I have everything cleared out, I'm going to start removing the engine. So yeah, sit back, relax and enjoy this video.
All right, so as you can see, I got most of the stuff off. Uh, put the intake manifold, exhaust manifold, and all the small stuff here and there. Put the brake booster and a bunch of other stuff. So yeah, it's looking pretty clean. The only thing that's connected to the engine right now is the engine mounts and the transmission. And the way I'm gonna take this engine out, I'm probably gonna remove the transmission and place a like a, a jack stand underneath the transmission just in case it goes down. So yeah, I'm gonna unbolt the mount from right there and pretty much take both of these engine mounts off right there, right there, and I'm gonna lift it straight out. I don't have a car hoist, so I'm probably gonna build a build a little stand and install a hoist on it, so I can just lift it straight up. And that's the reason I wanna un unbolt the transmission off the engine too. Yeah, that'd be a lot easier. I can just lift it up and roll the car back. And yeah, pretty much everything is removed and we can move on to the next step, which is probably unbolting the transmission from the engine. So yeah, this is what I made. Um, I have some, all this material just laying around the house. It was pretty much trash, so I just repurposed it. And pretty much drilled holes in there, attached them together to make it obviously long. And connect them together with bolts. Here's some extra metal for strength, so it doesn't shake or it doesn't like twist. It was actually pretty twisty even after this, so I had to add some wood in there. And after the wood, it didn't twist whatsoever. So yeah, it's pretty strong. Same thing on the other side. It is pretty sturdy, and then I actually tried hanging on it too, and it, it handles my weight with no problem. And it doesn't, it doesn't seem sketchy. So it looks pretty sketchy, but it's not really sketchy, so I think it should be good. Yeah, I'm gonna attach my hoist right here and go from there. So I pulled the car out and made the engine line up with the lift. And one more plan right now is to unbolt the transmission from the engine and unbolt all the transmission mounts and shifter and shifter links and all the cables and pretty much let the transmission sit on these two jack sides. And after that is removed, the engine will be by itself and I can just uh, hook it up with like a bunch of chains and stuff and just pull it out. After pulling the engine up, I can just roll the car back 
and that way the engine will be up and the transmission will just stay there at that spot. For me, that's the easiest way to remove both of the things so, without having an engine hoist. Um, I think it should work, so let's try it out and we'll go from there.
Okay, so finally got the engine out of the car. Uh, this lift actually came in clutch and gave me no problems. Although it started acting a little flimsy here and there, but like it wasn't that bad. And this horse gave me no problems, so it lifted it really easily. And yeah, so engine out of the car. The transmission is sitting right there. All I have to do is just move the engine, engine to the side, jack up the car from the subframe, and drag the transmission out. And it's not that heavy, yeah, it's slightly. I start, like I try to move it around, it's pretty light. So yeah, I can just drag it out. And so yeah, that's what the engine bay looks. Um, the soft frame doesn't look that bad, and all it needs to be done is getting sandblasted and powder coated, and I can probably reuse it. And so yeah, the firewall, everything seems to be good right here, so. Alright, so here's the transmission and pretty much lifted the car and dragged it out, picked it up and put it right here. And it was pretty light so it was pretty easy to lift. So yeah, everything's right here, engine and transmission out of the car. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video and um, I'm gonna clean up all the mess right here. And in the next video, I'm probably going to take off most of the other panels that has connected to the car. Just like the trunk, um, rear bumper, all the glass, sunroof, dash, and uh, probably the headliner. So yeah, stay tuned, like and subscribe, and see you guys later. Peace.